because certainly we don't need anybody knowing where the president is. It doesn't we don't doesn't need to know any of our classified information. We've gone through that for too many years with Hillary Clinton and Barack Hussein Obama. We can't do it during a Trump administration. We'll be back. For the People is on the air for you. Each day we strive to tell it to you straight, not watered down, so you can know what's going on each day. Our show is different from many of the others on air. We're not afraid of the PC police, and we explain our position, at the same time understanding the left's position and what we can do to further a conservative agenda for America. For the People is listener-supported and relies on listeners like you to help us get the word out. So, if you like what we do and want to help For the People, sign up today at our website at ForThePeopleShow.com. That's ForThePeopleShow.com. Your support allows us to report the news fearlessly and guarantees our survival on the air. As a thank you, we'll send you our monthly newsletter with commentary and money-saving tips. Can we count on your support? Thank you for helping America. To become a For the People member, log on to ForThePeopleShow.com. Now, For the People has a special opportunity for you. If you own a business and want to gain a national audience that is loyal and will do business with you, Imagine being able to get your product and or service into the hands of tens of thousands of people each week. Sponsorship opportunities are now available at rates you can afford. Finally, the show you love with your business supporting what we do in partnership. Start running your commercials today. To contact us, go to ForThePeopleShow.com. That's ForThePeopleShow.com. Keith Allen and For the People on this President's Day, the maverick, John McCain, at it again. And uh, here's this guy that just will not quit, giving all sorts of speeches, saying that he's worried about a shift away from universal values and that formed the Western Alliance 70 years ago and was concerned about a uh, all sorts of authoritative languages and handling, um, saying that... Uh, the handling of these refugees and minorities and Muslims and was all alarmed by the growing inability and even unwillingness to separate truth from lies and that Donald Trump is more like a dictator. Wait a second. There's got to be a reason for this. Well, as you know, there's friction between the two. Uh, pretty evident during the presidential campaign when Donald lashed out at McCain's criticism of his stance on immigration by saying um, about the senator uh, and who was a prisoner of war during that time for five years in Vietnam. I like people that weren't captured. So there is some bad blood between two of them. But I'll tell you who's been out maverick. And everybody called John McCain because he's outspoken. He's been out maverick completely by Donald Trump in every single way. And he's furious about it furious about it well what are you to do what is a man to do about it um get over it but he's going to go on the circuit to try i think this really just kind of gives him some kind of credibility um to continue on with it and it's like viability for the republican party because he's really the last of his kind left because the republican party is going to change and he's not the face of it I think he's trying to be, and I think he wants to remain relevant. But the the fact of the matter is, it ain't happening for him. And uh, I think he's just a little bit sore about it. But anyway, sorry, uh, John McCain, that things are not just going your way. But that's the way things do happen, as there is a shift in power. And the American people voted. Get over it, too. But it is Republicans, it is Democrats, and there's going to be those that just can't get over it. But it's posturing. It's politics. you got to understand that from John McCain of how that goes on, keeping his relevance, trying to remain credible on there. But this doesn't serve really in a positive, productive way, but it puts him in the spotlight, and I think he likes it. He can't be Prez, but he is senator still of Arizona. and the great state of Arizona, too. And we appreciate 
so many of our listeners in Arizona. By the way, our program is listener-supported 100%. If you've not become a member, you can do so right now by going to our website at ForThePeopleShow.com. We appreciate your support. Keith Allen saying all the best. May God bless. 